It's been a while. <laughs> it's really difficult for me to do things halfway most of the time. 0% or 100% are a little easier for me and trying to find anything in between depending on the task can be very difficult. It was interesting timing how I left the last vlog talking about how I felt more pressure for myself. I don't know why I was doing certain things, making myself feel obligated to, to do certain things in a certain fashion with time and, and um, I knew that I wanted to make a change with vlogging then of like it not needing to be, oh, I have a conversation every week. I have a vlog every week for sure. Those are the two things. I've been doing that for like five years. Like I, I should keep doing that. I've never missed it. But that's not a reason to keep it going in that way. So I already knew that there was going to be a shift. I need to move this. Camera setup was an issue. But right after that, for the past three weeks, we've had, I guess, two and a half weeks, it seems like longer. We've had a family emergency wherein um, things became prioritized very differently for me and it was just good timing after I just had that conversation not a conversation but after I just spoke on it in the vlog that I don't want to make myself feel obligated to keep doing the vlog in the way that it was before so I dropped everything I kind of had to um, again reprioritizing things in my life to make things happen the things that I wanted to the things that I cared about most the people that I cared about most to make that happen and to not spend any other energy or time on anything else other than trying to ensure the the safety the physical emotional and mental safety of my family um and myself included <laughs> trying to do what i need to do for myself and we've had quite the experience with the alberta healthcare system that is incredibly eye-opening and not in a good way, but at this time, I think that things are going to be okay, at least for a while. And then now that I've gotten accustomed to the past two and a half weeks of chaos and no structure and no routine I'm going to be trying to enter my routine again and while I do that I still have this question of how do I vlog and I think it is just going to be when the mood strikes me I'm just going to do it I don't want to feel obligated at all to do that I think that it's changed how I approach art how I I still don't know I had a few studio days in the past two and a half weeks like I think two of them and I really didn't do anything with them I made more art on the road in Calgary than I did at the studio for those two days where I had like a chunk of like five hours, maybe one was four hours, one was five. Um, I didn't do anything with them there. So I definitely have thought about art. Um, I'll show you a page from my sketchbook here in a minute. But... I know that a lot of this change was forced change in the aspect that I was put in a position where I had to make decisions and they were really, they were very easy to make in some cases and very difficult in other cases. And it wasn't a question about certain types of priorities, but more of being put in a corner by the Alberta healthcare system and the Alberta government to make certain decisions that we never thought we'd have to make. And those are really difficult and other ones are very easy as in how I spend my time and what, I, what I'm going to prioritize. And now we have more decisions to make as we kind of get back into the routine of what regular life was and what we'd like it to be again. But we've got some really big changes still. 
and this is like I just I haven't thought about it till today to speak on any of this and again I don't like the vagaries but that's just what it is right now um, but some people are in the, the know of, of what the situation is and the contributing factors and other people are not in the know and if you want to know then depending on who you are uh, I, I'd like to go into detail uh, especially because part of it has to do with our experience with the Alberta healthcare system in a rural area such as Lethbridge, but even in Calgary, where there are more resources, but not nearly enough. And I thought that so much was attributed to funding, lack of funding for healthcare, but it's not just that, it's also the people that are there. And there's a massive mix of people within the healthcare system that are there for the right reasons, and a lot that are there for the wrong reasons, which I wasn't expecting to encounter as much. So, I'm still in a state of, of a lot of transition where I'm gonna kind of be thinking about and being aware of how I use my time and how I want to express myself how much time and energy I'm going to take to do that and for what purpose. I've got a lot of things that are going to be in transition again, <laughs> like moving, um, work. In the next couple months, those are two really big pieces of my life that are going to change. And... That's a little overwhelming, but also I don't really feel like there's, 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 there's no, well, I don't know that I feel. There are no choices in either of those matters. So I was kind of in a place where I had to take everything an hour at a time. And I'm a person who's used to looking ahead quite a lot for better and for worse. And now we went from like an hour at a time to like a day at a time. And then all of a sudden it went back to like an hour at a time again, simultaneously trying to prepare for the next coming days. And it's really difficult <laughs> to transition back to like, okay, but now we're thinking about a couple months down the road because we have to. I don't really know what what the average experience is in my life anymore, which is exciting and also anxiety inducing. I can tell you some trivial things. I haven't been able to do physio for like two and a half weeks, so I need to get back on that. I definitely have had a much poorer diet with going back and forth between here and Calgary. So I want to fix that and get more into the routine with my diet again. I can't, it's, I, I think the last time I finished a book was January, no, December. So I'd like to do that. I've been meaning to do that for a long time, but we've got so many other things to do. There's things I want to do for fun. I mean, there's like vlogging, there's reviews I want to do for fun, and I just haven't made the time to do it. And even art, like I said, in the studio, just feels so different right now when I've had the time to do stuff and haven't really been able to. And I think that that has been... It's a new challenge, I guess, to try to get back into that, to feel settled enough to do that. I'm not sure what else to say for now, other than I think it's healthy and a good thing that I was able to get to that place, especially before all of these events started happening, that I was able to kind of let go of a certain kind of routine that was detrimental because I put an expectation on myself that I shouldn't have. And that was with vlogging and that translated to social media use as well. And so I definitely want to actively be aware of my usage and what I feel is obligation and just how I'm using time before I get kind of get back into old habits. 
because they would be comforting at this point now that I feel like there there very soon will be room to kind of get back into the old routine. Some of that old routine is beneficial and some of it is not. So, I don't know. I think I definitely just want to make stuff when I want to make it, how I want to make it, and I'll struggle with that on my own. And I don't know how much conversation I'm going to have around that, gone back and forth on that. I fantasized for a while about just getting my work done at the studio and just posting pictures when things are done and not showing any of the process, but the process is so important to me. And expression in that aspect is so important to me or has been for a long time. I kind of have to reevaluate that too. I just want to let things happen naturally, but at the same time, I have to like mull it around and think about it and feel before I actually feel like I make decisions or maybe I don't make decisions. I just do. And I think it's more, that's more of what I want is just to do and not, have to structure things as much. I'll add some other stuff now that I'm talking again, now that I'm expressing again. I haven't worked in a sketchbook for a long time because it was kind of like a, um, a collaborative project and I just, I figured I know that I could just do it on my own, but I just didn't have the motivation to do it and I think that I'd like to get back into it even if it is on my own, but um, it definitely changes things for sure. And I, I don't know how I feel about it, just doing it alone. But this is from months ago. This kind of stopped, I don't know how many months ago. But I had my sketchbook with me. I was in the emergency room, the waiting room, and um, I tried to just draw some windows and stuff that I saw around me, and very quickly it was garbage, and I didn't like it. And I was having a really difficult time. I was very anxious. I was very stressed and on edge. And I was listening to Faith No More, which is a whole other story. But I, I'd like to get into that, actually, um, maybe in a conversation. And I kind of went into this thing of just the present. Uh, I was feeling definitely really negative, but like just the act of scribbling and making layers and creating value and all these, this, all the mark making, um, going over the things that I wrote, going over the windows that I tried to draw, it was actually helpful in that moment. And it kind of, again, kind of refocused me in how I'm making art or what art can do for me. Or, I mean, if this is art or not, the craft of creating and making kind of just reiterated that um, doing is doing and doing is good.